Hello, this is Star Dragon guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Genjin Impact uh, character. So, I will be, uh, so we were going to be talking about all the characters that I actually uh, experienced in the CBT 2, which is closing beta test 2 on uh, Genjin Impact. I will be doing another video soon. So, today we're going to be talking about characters. So, in total right now, there's supposed to be 30 characters, but in the uh, closing beta 2, the only like 17 characters I counted so far. If I miss anything, then please let me let me know. So, um, did you, so before we get to a video, please hit hit the subscribe and leave a like on the video if it helps. And uh, for sure, I will be doing another one if if I can get a chance to go back to a closing beta. Because I did that I did mention this uh, that I will be um, doing a video after the beta. So here we are. Alright, so let's get to the video. Um, let's start out with the uh, character Gene. Uh, Gene is the, um, the pyro, if you know, no, not, not pyro. Gene is uh, nano. If you know what nano is, it's a wind element. So basically, she's um, more of a sword fighter. So she's basically a fire to me. She uses the wind magic. Uh, her so basically, she don't do a spell. Well, she actually has have a spell. The only spell with a sword. And also, the ultimate causes a whirlwind, those things. Your main character can do it too. Next, uh, it's gonna be Amber. It's gonna be Amber. Uh, she's the pyro, which is element of fire. She's a long range, uh, long range archer attack, and so it's long range support. It causes fire damage, and over, it actually can cause damage to enemies over time. Uh, so, her ultimate, uh, her ultimate can, like, um, can like get lost in uh, the like rain arrow with, with fire on it, so uh, hit to an enemy on the ground. Next, we have uh, Lisa, which is uh, electro, which is a, a, a lightning element, like electric electricity element type. She's a mage, so basically, uh, she can do damage uh, as a like her basic attack also, also can do electricity damage, elemental damage, so yeah. She also can do a, a lot of like uh, mid range. Her ultimate can do enemies in area damage. So there's one. And next we have um let's see Kai it's like K Kai Kai Kai. I can't even pronounce the name right. Okay, so uh, let's let's go with Kai. Okay, so Kai uh, it's a it's a seal seal. I don't know how it's pronounced the the. The one is actually an ice element, though. So he's basically a fighter. So basically, if it's a sword fighter, so it deals damage uh, in the front line, basic attack. But his element can launch his. When he use when he uses spell, it actually um can like um when he uses skill, it can freeze the enemies in place, and it ultimate can actually bring out a um three uh, ice shard around him that can deal damage and can deal with damage enemies that actually go close to them. Next we have um, Bambara, which is a mage. She's a what she's a um hydro she's a hydro element, so basically it's water element. She more of a she is a mage but she's more of a support still because she's also do she uses healing magic, so healing skill. Her base attack is water, so basically you already know. Even though yeah, it's like you know, mage use element anyway, and her skill is it's like summon a um, song of water around her that heals that heals herself, and she also can heal ally if you switch to a different character. Her ultimate actually can heal a party number and your and your um, character that are in the inventory. And next is uh, the Luke. To me, he's a breaker. So basically, we have a few breaker in here, and I'm gonna mention all the 17 characters so far. So Diluc is a breaker, which is deal a um, pyro type element, which is a fire. His uh, skill. Okay, so my mic stopped again. So I actually start. I don't know when when to stop, but I'm gonna start with this one. Uh, Diluc is uh, a pyro, which is a fire element. He, uh, his, his skill can deal a fire damage, it's like three times, and when he uses his skill, his ultimate can summon a 
fire a burning phoenix uh, that can attack all the enemies in the in his fire helm. Next, we have Razor. <clears throat> Razor is an electro, so basically it's a lightning type and electric element. He's a, also he's a fighter. His uh, skill is like he can do a sla He can like. He can do a lecture like slash is cause an electric element type, so it costs third damage over time. His ultimate can transform and she can summon a wolf that that is like like a kinda like a summon a, kinda like a summon, he summon a wolf behind him and uh, also deal with more damage and um, and more uh, elemental damage. Next we have Venti. Venti is a nano, he's a wind type element. First, I thought he was a uh, support, but he actually very isn't support. He just, he's a uh, archer. That he's kind of it's a resemblance of uh, Amber, but the stuff that he deals uh, more of the uh, damage and more attacks more enemies in uh, in in range. He, so basically, he is an archer. He's a long range support. His skill is like um, useful for treasure hunting. So basically, he his skill he can like summon a some sort of what they call whirlwind or witch draft or something that can help lift lift them up and just travel everywhere they need to go or something like gain some more height and that's it, something like that. And his ultimate actually can summon a kind of like a black hole or something that sucks everything in and deal damage in there. I don't know whether that makes sense for a win or not. And next one is a uh, key. So basically, uh, Key is um. So first, I thought she was just the person that go following around, but she actually isn't. Though she is a child, so she haven't noticed, but she is a knight at the same time. Basically, she's a pyro, so she feel deal a fire damage. You don't know. You can look at a symbol on her on somewhere. Well, actually, you can't find it, but I don't think she have it. But the other one does. So basically, she a pyro fire, which is a. Uh, um, fire damage and uh, fire element. Is she also a mage? I saw she is actually pretty powerful in the beta. I don't know how she's so powerful. She does deal a lot of damage though in the area and uh, most and most and multiple damage and does in, in, in all the enemies in the area though. Uh, I don't know her ultimate yet. Wait, actually I do. Her ultimate actually lost some sort of like a sort of stance there, kind of like. It's kind of like a missile from out came out of nowhere and launches to him, so <laughs> that's one. And her oh, and her skill is basically just throw a throw some sort of fire mob at them, cause damage over time. Uh, next one is going to be um, let's see, Ben Bennett 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 is, is a fighter, so he deal a he also a pyro, so deal um fire damage. His skill is uh, more of that's just like um he do as he do as three he also do as three strike it's just like uh what did you just need to press one time just do a three strike skill with a with a fire element I don't know what his ultimate is because I haven't tried him out too much but yeah we'll find out you know next time if I have a chance and the next one is gonna be uh Noel here. Noel is a breaker. He's a na he's a nano. So nano it's a uh, nano element. So nano it's a ground element. She basically uh, deals a huge amount of damage, and her ult her um her skill can deal a uh, skin like. Wait, hang on. Here, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I lost it. Okay. Her skill. So basically, she's um. She can summon a some sort of a crystal barrier around her to protect her from uh, enemy attack. I keep, I keep, uh, I keep getting messed up with her with the other character. So, yeah, that's why I got confused. Yep. Uh, so yeah, her skill just summon a barrier around her to, to protect uh, from. And this next character is uh, Flitchy. She's uh, Electro. So she deal a uh, electricity element. She's a range support. So basically an archer. She's she really highly resemble of Amber. Except Amber just fire and she's electric. She, she uses electric assist. 
excuse me, she used electricity uh, and she summoned a electricity or electricity bird uh, that or in her, so basically uh, she actually yeah, can absorb damage. I don't know her ultimate yet, you can play her. Well, actually, I got her from a gacha, but I just don't use her that much in there, so that's basically one of it. So moving on, so there's going to be a next character in uh, in a different like city. So basically, you, you it will be very familiar. So the next one is going to be Zal, uh, like Zal. Basically, he's a um, uh, nano. So he basically he's a win. His skill actually can do a three dashes. So basically, each dash have its own cooldown. I don't know how long the cooldown is. I've, I haven't been paying attention to that. But if I didn't use the character, I would know it. He's basically a fighter, so as you have noticed. Well, actually, not no, not a fighter. He's actually more of a, a fast attack person. So yeah, they, let's, yeah, actually, he is a fighter. I keep getting confused with uh, with uh, all the other game I keep playing. <laughs> So um, next one is the character I actually use. So so the next one is um, Be Bedu Beluk. So basically, he she's a electro she's a electro use type element. So electro. Her skill is um, she can like block damage and actually absorb that to her strengthen her skill and launch it. So uh, she can charge up to three times, so basically it's really powerful. Yep, she's a breaker. Her ultimate is just basically summon a dragon, electric dragon around her, then deal electrical damage. And you get near her, and she can attack with electricity element damage. So in the next one, is I actually finally figured out what the who, which the next character is. You probably surprised with a Ningun, Ningun. So basically, she's a nano type. Oh, nano type element, which is ground element. Uh, she the she the mage. She also, she actually can like um summon a. Yeah, at first when I when I mentioned this in the other video, she actually a mage. But I when I when she summon a a some sort of a wall, it, the wall that actually only increase her damage when uh, she use her damage like through the wall. So basically, enemy can enemy can go. Through it, anyone can go through it. You get you, you get summon a wall up there and get the attack with your basic damage and it deals more damage. So that's how it works. Her uh, ultimate is basically um it's like you get like summon a some sort of statue there and get slash a bunch of elemental damage there. So basically to attack every air enemy in the area. She does have long range uh basic damage. But it doesn't mean it go it will go hit the enemy, so it is long range. So she is, she is a very character that not too many people use. So the next one is my favorite one. So basically, it's Zhao Lin. Zhao Lin is, is a fighter, so she's a pyro, so she do deal fire damage, basically fast attack. Her um her skill is basically summon a teddy bear and just flame them like twice the first flame is just in small area the second one gonna be a, a long it's like just a bigger area her ultimate is gonna be taking the sphere and spinning it around causing elemental damage and the next one is actually a, a new unique character it's actually a new one so basically I guess you want to leave it at a cross dresser I'm not sure but he maybe he is I don't know so it's actually Zhao Kryu. So he's a he's a hydro. So basically he's a water element. So he he's actually a fighter. So basically he deals a uh, water damage. His skill is actually to deal like just a, a slash, like uppercut slash and uh, with the elemental damage cause, cause elemental damage. I haven't used his ultimate yet, so I actually don't know his uh his ultimate yet. So we we'll actually see what. What's going to happen if, if if I did see it? I will mention on my other video. So, if you say so, my my mic keep cutting off on me. I don't know why when I'm recording. So basically, it's now Q. It's actually a water, the water mage. Well, not a water mage, but a water. It's a water element user. So he deals water damage. He's a fighter. 
Oh, basically he deals as like his skill can like he deal he grab his sword, do an uppercut, and just deal elemental damage. I don't know if ultimate yet, but we will find that we will find out later on. That's all 17 characters in there. If you don't if you don't know what the what the uh, like a position are like a breaker, spider, and those things. I call it a fire. I'm not sure though. So breaker basically a um it it uh, basically kind of like a deal we have a, like a very strong sword or something like that it could like, deal a lot of damage but it's slow attack so that's what it is and uh fire basically deals a so fire deal a, like a very fast basic attack but it's just a normal it's just a normal attack not elemental when he used when it uses a skill that will be elemental and so basically and then next it's going to be a mage a mage is to deal uh, basic attack, deal elemental damage, and also deal area damage. And a rage, so a long range support is going to be like a like a long range, like an archer, something like that. So basically, we have like three archer in this game. I already mentioned Hamburg, uh, what's that? Uh, Venti and Flynn Flinchy, which is those three only so far. Uh, the t in total is going to be have to be 30 characters, but right now it's only 17. But it's only that closing beta, so basically we don't have it too many characters so far. They are making some more. Uh, it, 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 later on, I will actually um, find that out. In the next video, I'm actually going to find out the um, the, these, uh, the the element thing used. If I can't find that, I won't be able to find. It. If I did find, it, I will post it on my next video. Because my next video is going to be a recap of what happened in CVT2, so look, stay tuned for stay tuned for that. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, hit the bell aside, and you won't miss my next video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.